Hi, I'm Steven Sabados. And I'm Chris Hindeman. Today in Designer Guys, we're going to show you how to transform this into this. Lorraine was so excited when she bought her first loft. But Lorraine's a very warm person, and we couldn't imagine her in such a cold space. Lorraine! Do you like oh it? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you finally bought a place. I know, it's amazing. This is the main living area? Yeah, this is the living this area. This is the living area. And that's the galley kitchen. It's a great space. It's a tall space, but it's a small space. She's got the height, which is great, but uh, at 11 feet wide, doesn't have a lot of room to stretch out. It really reminded me of New York because I saw a lot of lofts. I have friends in New York and I really loved them when I saw them. So that's really what inspired me was seeing all these New York lofts. We've got to kind of meet uh, the warmth of Lorraine's personality and the coldness of the loft. Shot of me and Lorraine <laughs> first. <laughs> Haven't seen her in a great place. For me, this place is screaming for chrome, hard edge, funky stuff hanging from the ceiling. Um, I don't think that's her. So what do you want to do, Lorraine? Um, What's, uh... Well, I want to make it comfortable, obviously, and pretty simple. I don't want a lot of knickknacks and stuff like that. I want really clean space. So really neutral, clean lines, not a lot of clutter. A space this small, it's really kind of a good idea to start probably thinking in a monochromatic way. You, when you look at a red item and then all of a sudden it's white, the eye stops at the white and then it'll continue again. When it's monochromatic, it just flows nicely. So it feels bigger. Um, and just enough move, room to move around because like, the space, as you can see, is kind of tight. Every inch is valuable. So we really want to keep form and color to the minimum. Let's get a shot of this. How about storage for you? I think, yeah, yeah that's what's gonna they're supposed there? to put a door on there, so I'm hoping that that's going to be covered. The only storage uh, space that we can find, if we can sneak it, is up in the air. Probably the biggest weakness. What about a dining area? Are you can I have a living room, dining room? Probably not. Unless you think we could do a dining room thing. I don't know. It's kind of tight, right? I think we have to take some measurements of this. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what about the floors? The floors you love in the floors? I like just the like floors. That. I think we put some, maybe some throw rugs on or something. I, mean, like I, that. I think concrete floors are cool. So that's laundry. Ooh, okay. Even the cupboards, there's lots of cupboards, but. You've got tons of cupboard space. I have tons of, but I still need more space because I have lots of stuff. That's the dream. Maybe we can go up a little bit. Yeah, here exactly. Or I have no room for food. Like, I have no pantry space, right? Because I've, there's not a lot of space. And there isn't a lot of lighting. That's the other thing. I mean, you know, you in have, terms of. Yeah, almost no, no lighting. overhead yeah. lighting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out something there. Taping out is really important. Having measurements that are is key. Lorraine, do you have a floor plan? Uh, I do. Oh, perfect. Like, like this is hard to get a floor plan on. Yeah. Hey, Thank you. One. 136, 217. Okay. I'm going to write that down. Where's your notepad? It's gone. What are you doing with the boxes? Boxes. For chairs. Oh. What it's... about two couches? How wide is the couch? Three feet. So that's three feet into the room. And you think two love seats? I think so. Rather than one couch and two chairs, I think two love seats would be perfect. Look, you've still got enough room to get in through here. Could work. It's a little boring. Oh. I mean, it's a loft. It's a little, you know. And that floor plan wasn't boring. Well, no. A couch at the end, well, two the chairs, a table, work. and no, a dining room set, table. and hello. No, but I'm saying, but I mean, if it's a Is loft, she... let's maybe get something funky, so, you know, like you, something, you like a raft or something, here. a little loft, a little second floor. <laughs> a little bedroom. I think, why did she buy it? I mean, that was... <gasps> How can you say no, that? No, it's a cool space. I'd love it. That is the coolest space going. No, for me. I, I think can't believe you her, just said that. No, for her, it's not her personality. I've been to her old place. Like, you meet Lorraine, and, you know, she gives you a hug. You've just, like, generalized every loft living person into leather, chrome, and well, halogen lights, like you would want. But like, there's concrete walls, concrete floor. What it sounds to me like you're trying to say is that we just have to make this place just a shade cozier. You know, just because she bought a loft doesn't mean that we can't bring it in with a little bit of... Coziness. There's every square inch. It has to has be to functional. Be. And, you know, we have to really listen to her. If she says, for, if, if she even mutters the word dinner party, then we're in big trouble. TV trays. She's a casual That's a good idea, gal, actually. girl. Yeah. And gal. you know what? So what about, Yeehaw. what about like great little, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. so I don't think she'd ever have some big formal party with candlelights and dim lighting. I just don't know um, who's going to end up with the turkey on their TV tray when no. they're serving turkey. Buffet. <laughs> it can be very oh, yeah, chic. Okay. Lorraine's place is essentially an empty box. So the best way to get ideas is to go back to the space and play around. 
Well, we're back here in Lorraine's zone and things are starting to look fantastic. The paint's on the walls and it looks great. The accessories are starting to arrive. But I'm just a little bit nervous about the measurements of the couch. We're having them custom made. So I've dragged Stephen back here with me to make sure that the measurements are accurate. And Stephen has a confession to make. I have a confession that yes, you were right. Instead of staining out these wooden covered doors, what we've done is painted them the same color as the wall. That way, when your eye goes around the room, it skips right over them. That's a nice detail because they'll just blend right in. Yes, you I are. win again. I yeah, love that. Yeah. Now, to keep Christopher calm, I'm going to start measuring. Like, it needs to have texture because it's going to be monochromatic. I don't think there should be any pattern. I don't want any pattern in the room. And I don't mean a like, colored pattern. You know what I mean? Like, sculpted, kind of. Mm -hmm. We need to start. Some visual interest yeah. somewhere. Not very wide. That's why I want texture. What about window coverings? It's an odd shaped window. We've got the nook. As long as we just take it from here across, I think it can be really cool. So the couches are very boxy, you know. I think sofa here. Two here. No, no, not sofa. Oh. Sofa, love, sofa. Love seat, love seat. Love seat, love, no sofa. So love seat, love seat. Chair, chair, chair. What about the carpet? Just something very simple. Uh, no color. Uh, well, obviously a color, but not too much color. Not. You know, Lorraine wants colored pattern. Lorraine wants cozy, and that's what we have to get her. So squares. The downside: Lorraine's loft is cold, narrow, and has no storage. Ah, but the upside is that it's a fresh, clean slate for us to work on. First thing that I think we should deal with here what? is making that space bigger. Floor plan. She gave us a floor plan, didn't she? Two, mm -hmm. wind, two snowstorms trapped in there for two days. She's, <laughs> she's going to go crazy. <laughs> this is true. I need to be inspired. <laughs> Where are we going to put all this stuff? Oh, uh, yeah. So storage definitely is huge. She has one closet in her living room uh, here. No, and there's no doors And on look at, there's an ocean of garbage bags full of clothes. Are we going to carpet? She wants it cozy. Carpet that concrete? Cozy. Concrete cozy? You're serious. We're really looking at what we think Lorraine wants, and we're not listening to what Lorraine really wants. Chairs. What kind of chairs? Something funky, something small, and something with personality. Uh, I think the metropolitan style has evolved by becoming more personal. Uh, that could be something really simple, but really says something strong about the person personality. The best way to add color to someone who has a, a monochromatic color palette already um, would probably, and for this season, is add really deep, rich colors in, in small accent ways, uh, like pillows or throws. And if you're looking for squares, it's maybe about a square pillow. Uh, it could be uh, something like a coffee table that carries that square theme or something on top of that coffee table. If you're looking for something that's going to add color, uh, maybe it's about a small chair. We've been hunting high and low for the perfect chair for Lorraine Clark's living room, and I think I've found it. It's the exact same color as the couch, the walls, and the carpet, giving us that perfect, completed, monochromatic look. I'm pretty excited about this one. On the other hand, red would give the space the color and zip that it needs. And I know Christopher loves monochromatic look, but for me, the red chair will work. I think you're absolutely insane. Obviously, a monochromatic room is all the furniture is the same it color. It needs color. I don't think so. What about the floor? Watch this. We're searching around now for Lorraine's rug. This is a great opportunity to add some texture to her space. So we're trying to find a rug that has a pattern that's carved into it, but it doesn't have a second color in it. You know, I just want to get something with a little more pattern. This one here is fantastic. Well, there's the, the cut, there's the loop. No, that I think that's what gives you that's the texture exactly, the pattern. exactly what I'm talking about. A cut pile has the fibers standing straight up, and a loop pile has the, cut, the, the, the fibers looped over. When, you're, when your foot touches it, you'll see it fall down, so you get a bit of shading. With a loop pile carpet, you don't have that much movement, so that's the real difference. But I mean, this is the raised effect to give the texture, I think, would work. It's too, too swirly. swirly. Sorry, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. But I think these might be a little bit plush for her loft. What about the flip samples here? Let's go to oh, those. Oh, cool. Okay. While choosing your carpet, make sure you have your fabric samples with you. That way you can ensure you're choosing the exact color. Also, bring a sample of the carpet home with you so you can see how it works in the lighting conditions in your home. Mm -hmm. These are cool. What about these yeah, like nice. ones? When you get some texture in it, you're breaking up the cleanness of the pile that you see. So you won't see as much, you won't see furniture imprints. 
you won't see as much to the eye. Ooh, ooh, that's beautiful. It's too green, but it's looking beautiful. We need more putty. But I like this texture better because it's tighter, smaller, and it seems to give more, more texture. Ah, here it is. That's it. Side. Yeah, Perfect. that's it. Right? So you got like the carpet, pillow on the carpet. Look at that. Mm. We've got a winner. Do you read off the code? Ronnie as an Anderson. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see if we get a sample. That. We need a sample. Good. We wanted a monochromatic color scheme to make the space seem larger. So we had to create interest and warmth through texture. Floral arrangements don't necessarily have to be colorful. Like this monochromatic tablescape, for instance, although it's void of color, it's incredibly rich with texture. Now look, when I think of flowers, I always think bright, vivid colors and, and big arrangements. And this was one of the first thing that caught my eye, mm -hmm. which I think is absolutely exquisite. Now, you know, there's no color. When we use colors, uh, you always have to be uh, concerned about where the arrangement or the flowers are going to be used. Like, uh, you don't want to overpower a room. Tell me about these things here. Well, these are Heliconia, very, uh, very exotic flowers. Um, and I think the absence of colors is totally what makes the fun part of this arrangement. Your eye is um, easier to get into the composition. You don't have to fight as much with all the colors and putting everything back together. This is, it feels like fur. It does, it does. It's uh, very unusual, very uh, very different and a bit scary in the beginning, but I think the monochromatic will set tones in almost any kind of environment. We thought about using mirrors in the space, then decided against it. But all that talk about mirrors gave us a great idea. So here's her floor plan of the space. Already that's not working for me. I think we can actually lose the seven foot sofa completely, oh, blocking our sight line with number, the back of that. Well, number one, the back of the love seat. And then number True. two, the sofa is right in front of those beautiful windows, which I really think takes away from it. What about two love seats? Oh, yeah. That's on perfect. Sides. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, let's try love now seats. So we'll keep it open. OK. Our sight line isn't disturbed. We can see right past the love seats, right through the two chairs. And we have seating for six. That's perfect. So what we'll do is we'll mirror the narrowest parts. We do everything identical on both sides. This room is going to look much wider. So floor plans set in stone. I've got fabrics for the drapes, and I love this one. How brilliant is that? That is it. That in the window, fabric. I think, is fantastic. But this is the exact same color, and I love this one. What if we layer? Oh, Ooh. double them up if we do a, a layering. But are you going to be able to see my squares? Oh, yeah, I no, found those squares. Look, when they'll sort of ruche up a bit, you almost won't see them, but when they're pulled across, uh, you'll see the squares through it. That's perfect. The rain space is coming along quite nicely, but we run into a bit of a problem, the lighting. We couldn't find the right sconces for a kitchen area, and working within the square theme made it even more difficult. So I came up with a very easy project to create one. Now we'll need a list of supplies, quite simple. First, chicken wire, a Japanese paper or any style of rice paper. We will need tin snips, scissors, pliers, a paintbrush, any type of thin wire, podgy or decoupage glue, a spray adhesive, and last but not least, a socket and plug. Now the finished product looks something like this. You can see the shade in the front, and there's a support in the back. Now it's really easy to create. You can use your tin snips to cut the chicken wire to the desired size. Now the size that I've cut is 18 inches square for the front, and the back support is about 8 inches by 12. Now you'll invert them, flip them upside down, and measure in the exact amount of square so this is perfectly centered. Now take a thin piece of wire and wire the two together. With the pliers, tighten the little piece of wire around, making sure it's nice and secure. Now we're ready to add the decorative paper to the front of our sconce, which I have here. And with the spray adhesive, apply a very light mist to it. And we can now just roll it. And you can see it's holding on to the form. And with the scissors, just trim along following the line. The next step is to secure the edges of the paper to the shade. And we'll use the decoupage glue, just a few dabs on the edge, and then fold the edges over, which will make them secure, and do this all the way around the edge. Now use the decoupage glue again, 
in nice big brush strokes over the entire paper shape. And what that will do once it's dry is make it stiff. Now the last part of this project is to secure our socket to the back support, right in the center of the lamp, and do that by placing a piece of wire right at the bottom. Once it's secure, add a second piece of wire to the top of the socket. This will keep it in place and keep the bulb free from the wall. And make sure you use a low watt chandelier bulb. You don't want to burn the wall or heat up the paper. Well, the project's now complete. I hope Lorraine loves it. We solved both a lighting issue and we stayed within our square theme. Mirroring is a technique used to achieve balance in a small space. The double image suggests greater size. This actually is quite a big space. Listen to the echo. I think this is big. Well, no, it feels big. Look at the color. It just really warms it up. Very nice. I think it looks smaller than it did before. Very nice. With the shears underneath. Okay, so should we get the other stuff? It's too small. Monochromatic color schemes, if followed too closely, can sometimes be a little rigid and uptight. Now, to warm up the space, we've introduced chocolate. We have chocolate coffee tables, which match the bookcases and even the picture frames. We even found lamps that have chocolate leather on them. And I think this really gives the space a real cozy feel. <laughs> Lorraine's space is obviously quite tiny. So when decorating a space this small, it's probably best to use a monochromatic color scheme. That way the eye just sort of floats around the room and it doesn't really stop anywhere, making the space feel a lot larger. Everything in the room we pick in the same color. The carpet, fabric on the couch, the pillows, the paint on the walls, and even the matting and the artwork are all painted in the same color tone. And it makes the space feel a lot larger. Storage space for Lorraine was at a premium, and here in the kitchen, we built her a banquette attached to these bookcases, which can house glasses and dinnerware. We can also store food items in these galvanized containers, which visually tie in with the exposed ductwork. And we even have a coffee table that doubles as storage for my favorite things, magazines. These are unbelievable. Look at that. <gasps> two, 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 done. I can't hear you. They are perfect for a monochromatic color scheme. They're like ideal, like these are. But I just think it's feeling just so perfect. So, you know what, in a beautiful taupe environment like this, red would just pop. Incoming hot red chair. You said it a hundred times. Ugh. Picture the room, like dressed like Lorraine in a beautiful taupe Armani suit or something gorgeous. And then bright red lipstick. It's like, wow, look at those lips. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> They are, they look good. You're nuts, but they look good. Comfortable. Ooh, nice. Too formal. You are gonna win, because the rain will want those. I know she will. <laughs> we'll see. Ready? I'm always ready. Okay, Lorraine, this is okay, Lorraine. Lorraine. Okay, wow. But we really oh, wanted wow. to warm it up in here for you. This looks amazing. This is like great. Us? I love it. I couldn't figure out what they were going to do because it's sort of an awkward space because it's a galley kitchen. And I love that they made kind of an oriental looking Japanese bar. Chic sushi bar. Yeah, we just used uh, bookcases and then sort of configured this big H pattern, so to speak, and then put the chairs up in it. Well, this way I have storage space, obviously. There's room in the kitchen for glasses and, and plates and, and knickknacks and things like that. And then even the little wall sconces. Now, did you- Steven made those. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How did, did you make those? Uh, just, just chicken wire and uh, Japanese paper. Tons and this is good because there is isn't a lot of light like in here. So yeah. this is good for extra light if I want to read, like you said. We've got to show you the living room. Oh, I really want to see the living room. Actually, it stops Great. here. We didn't do the living room. Oh, you didn't do the living room. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. It was amazing because I don't think I would have the time at all to do what these guys, what Chris and Steven did, because it's amazing. I love the red chairs. Do you like the red chairs? I love, love the red chairs. Oh, see, I give up. <laughs> the red chairs just brighten up the room, and I'm my eyes immediately were drawn to it. Do you love them? I totally love them, and I wouldn't pick them out myself. No, neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> really, Christopher? We had a bit of an argument. Oh, you didn't. A little one. A little, little oh, one. Oh, really? Well, Lorraine, look at the way I'm dressed and the way I look, look at the way Stephen's dressed. Oh, yeah, we'll can see. you tell? I was supposed to be what the room could have been or what it room. should have been. I had to admit, when we brought both of the red chairs in after seeing the beige, the red chairs were more you, and they really did just give some light to the room. No, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's room here for books and magazines in the living room, which is great. So those are things that I always had problems storing, and, you know, I thought, oh, I'm going to have everything in boxes. A great storage space here for my books and magazines. That's yeah. excellent. Actually, Ren, this is more storage. We could never... Oh, great. And these cushions also go on top of here so that you can pull this aside. You're going to kill me because I'm going to make you sit chair. down. 
Oh, so you could nice. do oh, that, yeah, right? No, you're right. See, no, see if you actually pull that yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no, very comfortable. It feels like very firm. Big floor cushions. Sit on it. <laughs> Why did you sit on it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But see? Look, hey, it's perfect. Oh, I'm only 125 pounds. And look, <laughs> it holds me. I love the couches and the photographs are stunning and comfortable, which was something that I really wanted and they really did. Monochromatic can sometimes feel a little cold and we didn't want that for you. I mean, I personally like that. I'm a little icy, you know, but I like, um, I like the way it turned out here. That's really, I think, what gives it the warmth. Is, um, is the depth of the woods. And the beautiful red flowers. Do you like those? See? I do. Yeah. Those tie with my shirt. They would have been white. Very, very. <laughs> they would have been white if the chairs were green. Of course, they really made it so more comfortable. And you don't feel the largeness of the place. Now, are you liking the symmetry? Yes, that's, it's because it keep, makes it really cozy and comfortable. That's it, what I it find. It kind of comes in you know, nicely on you, but at the same time, it gives you a feeling of there's still space in the room. Oh, yeah. It's almost like the illusion of having a mirror on one wall. So everything that's on this wall is echoed again on this side. What kind of a pillow is this? It's a square pillow. That's the okay. thing. <laughs> you win the prize. I think it's a very subtle theme, but it works really well because I think it keeps the coziness theme happening throughout the living room. And it's it's everywhere. Really, our inspiration was your magnificent windows. What are those, Lorraine? Squares. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but right. it was too stark. So to warm it up, we put this uh, I'm just a, a cream colored sheer over top. Oh, great. You got squares in the carpet, you got squares yeah, in the carpet, you got excellent. squares in the artwork, you got squares yeah. in your shelves. I mean, the whole thing's a square, but it's not a square pad. No, that's right, exactly. And you're not a square gal. Like, there you go. Before you guys did work on it, I felt like the place was really too big for me almost, and now looking at this, I don't feel that anymore. You're we'll gonna wanna come home every day? I am gonna wanna come home every day, early. <laughs> if you come, you'll just wanna hang here for hours and drink wine and sit in my red chairs. Thank, Thank you. you. Perfect. <laughs> I love it, honey. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Designer Guys.